everyone and Merry Christmas. This is Nova Joe. Um, I wanted to uh, do a video this time of a Christmas memory of mine. I've seen some other uh, game reviewers do these and I thought it was interesting. I think they're fun. I like hearing about other people's stories and um, finding out about their most uh, enjoyable Christmas, most exciting Christmas as a kid. And uh, I had a really good one that I wanted to share. Um, I was born in 79, so I'm a tad bit older than probably a lot of you out there. I'm 36, and uh, I've been playing games since, oh gosh, that's probably seven years old, the first time I ever played anything. Um, I remember playing a Nintendo at my friend Josh's house, and uh, just being hooked on that. Just as soon as I, I remember we played Cobra Triangle, that was the very first game I can remember ever playing on the Nintendo. And uh, from that moment on, I was hooked. Well, after that, I wanted to get myself a video game system. But like I said, I was a kid, so it was it was 1987. Um, the Nintendo was out, Atari was out, and another system called the Sega Master System was out. But I didn't know about any of these other systems except for the Nintendo. That was the only system I knew of. That was the system kids at school had, and that was the system I wanted because that's that's what everybody else had uh, and so I remember going to dad and dad asked what Santa Claus wanted and I told him uh, I'd like a Nintendo so all Christmas long I can remember uh, just being excited and just hoping that I got this Nintendo just wondering if uh, Santa would be able to come through and get me this Nintendo uh, so anyway my parents were divorced and so we would go to my dad's house on Christmas Eve. Well, my dad at that time was living with my grandmother and she lived in this big farmhouse. I mean, it, at, at the time when I was a kid, this farmhouse was a hundred years old. It was, it was over a hundred years old. And so it was this, this big two-story old 1800s farmhouse that they lived in. And it was just like you would imagine an 1800s farmhouse being. It, it was very old-fashioned in, in every way, and my dad lived downstairs in this in this bedroom. Anyway, <clears throat> that night we had got there, and um, Dad had told my grandmother to take my brother and I out to look at Christmas lights. So she did. She took us around town. I can still remember this clear as a bell. We, we drove all over. Uh, I live in Kentucky. We we drove all over the county we lived in at the time, and. We looked um, at Christmas lights for I don't know how long. Well, anyway, it was time to take it, go back to the house. And as we're going back to the house, we pull in. And I don't know, it's probably, I don't know, 8 or 9 o'clock. I mean, it, it's dark. It's, it's, it's pitch black dark at this time. And coming out the front door of my grandmother's house was Santa Claus. And we were floored. I can still remember looking up at the roof. And it was really dark. And I, I remember looking for reindeer, but I couldn't see any. And uh, so I was like, well, it's just too dark. I can't see him. But he was coming out the front door of the house. My grandmother had a chimney, but it was blocked up. So I knew Santa couldn't get up the chimney. So he it made sense. He had to come out the front door. So uh, anyway, he comes out. My dad's telling me this story later. I mean, he comes out, and I'm just floored. My brother's real low. I'm seven, so he's about... I was seven, he was, he's about two, so he was real little, and um, anyway, my dad had no idea that this man, dressed up as Santa Claus, had come into the house. My dad had been out at the barn feeding the cattle. Well, when my dad sees this guy coming out of the house, he goes up to him, and dad telling me all this stuff years later, obviously he made sure I didn't know what was going on back then, and said, hey, who are you? And the guy told him who he was, and realized it was a friend of ours that my uncle had asked to come to our house dressed up as Santa for us kids. And so Dad never relayed this to us, obviously, because we, I mean, we believed in Santa Claus. And so um, Santa Claus went upstairs with us. I mean, he went upstairs and uh, all the presents had been laid out. That's why Dad had sent us away, was because he was going to go get all the presents and lay them out for us. Well, just so happened Santa Claus had showed up at the same time. So we go upstairs and we're opening up gifts and lo and behold there's a a big box under the Christmas tree and dad wasn't one to 
let me rephrase this. Santa didn't wrap our gifts. <laughs> Santa left them out under the tree. Anything from Santa was not wrapped. So we're um, we're looking at all this stuff that we've got, and like I said, there's this big white box with this black-looking console on the front of it. I had no idea what this thing was. I remembered I asked for a Nintendo, and I was looking at a box that said Sega Master System on it. I had never heard of the Sega Master System. It, it was not something that the kids at school talked about, and actually, they never, kids at school didn't have them. I might have ran into one or two people that actually had a Sega Master System. But anyway, that Christmas, Christmas of 87, I got a Sega Master System. And that was the first console I ever owned. And I can remember it came with a Hang On and Safari Hunt packing. It was a two games on one cart. It had the light gun and I've got the I've got a light gun right here. For those of you who may not have ever seen one, this is a this is the Master System light gun. Uh, mine didn't have the orange tip. This is this is my friend Jeremy's light gun. Um, but this was this was the light gun. If, if nobody's ever seen it, I actually think this is better than the Nintendo's light gun. Anyway, you had Hang On, Safari Hunt, and I can remember us hooking that up to the TV, and I was just I was blown away. I was so excited. I had a motorcycle game. I had uh, a a duck. Well, it wasn't just duck. I mean, let me just tell you, guys, if you've never played Safari Hunt, it blows Duck Hunt out of the water. It's like three different screens of different animals, and you beat one round, you go to the next round, and it's completely different. You're not just shooting the same ducks on the same screen over and over again. It, it was a really cool game. And no, none of my friends had one of these. Anyway, I can remember... Um, we took that downstairs and we hooked it up to the old CRT television. It was the old UHF VHF TVs. If, if uh, those of you older gamers out there watching that have seen it, and uh, you all remember, you had to click dial, so you had to turn it to channel three or channel four, and and uh, flip the switch on the back of the master system to whichever channel you wanted, and uh, watch it in all of its analog glory. <laughs> and so, and uh, that was with RF cables, so you know the picture quality was back then but you didn't care that I mean it, it was good um, behind me here for those who let me see you can see it here yeah move out of the way um, there's my friend uh, my friend Jeremy still has his master system and he let me borrow it and there it is there's a the controller it's just it looks kind of like an NES controller these aren't as good as an NES controller because there's no start or pause button on them you want to pause the game you have to go up to the console and press it but as a controller, it was really good. Now, mine was a little different than, than my friend's here. Uh, mine was, I guess, one of the uh, first-generation consoles, and it had a little hole there, and you could put a little joystick in and screw it in. But uh, the game that's playing on the TV there is a, a game called Time Soldiers. That was uh, one of uh, mine and my friend Jeremy's favorite games to play. And so we would play Time Soldiers and a list of other games, and he was kind enough to let me borrow his master system for this this little video that I'm doing and so uh, just to show those of you who may not have ever seen what a master system game looks like the here's a few we've got Reggie Jackson baseball Rambo 3 this was a light gun game um, Alien Syndrome uh, this is a arcade classic game that a lot of older gamers remember uh, Rostan uh, this was one of my favorites I've had, this was a uh, a game that was in the arcade as well, and it was, it was one of my favorites. And then we had Time Soldiers. These games were, a lot of these games were really hard. Um, especially like Alien Syndrome and uh, Time Soldiers. But uh, games were hard back then, but we enjoyed them. Uh, that leads me to uh, the final part of my Master System story. <laughs> the reason I'm having to borrow my friend Jeremy's Master System is uh, because back in the late 90s, I was dating a girl and she had a younger brother um, and dummy me thinking that I would never want to play my old master system in games again took my master system over and gave it to her younger brother um, I don't know what happened to it I'm not with that girl anymore <laughs> so, and I don't even know where she's at if I wanted to try to get it back from her brother but um, I gave it all away I had 
I had Ghostbusters, Choplifter, um, like I said, Hang On Safari Hunt, Great Golf, Great Basketball. Um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of what other games I may have had for it. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, guys, it, that was a that was a really good Christmas memory for me. Just getting up that or going in that Christmas Eve and Santa Claus showing up. I mean, it, it was. It was a great culmination of, of things that make a child happy. We saw Christmas lights. We it was Christmas Eve. We were gonna we were going to visit my dad. We went and saw Christmas lights. Then we come home and Santa Claus is coming out of the house and this guy was look legit. I mean the beard didn't even look fake. And I remember sitting upstairs as we're opening up presents thinking, Wow, I am sitting in the presence of Santa Claus and he is opening gifts with us. <laughs> I can remember him helping us to open up some of the packaging. You know how some of those toys are when they come with twist ties and stuff in them. I can remember him sitting there in that, the recliner opening up packages and just feeling it was so surreal. I was sitting in the presence of Santa Claus and at the same time I was getting my very first video game console, the Sega Master System. So anyway guys, I'll wrap up this video and I just want to uh, say thank you to my friend Jeremy who uh, loaned me this. It's been sitting in his basement for years. Has not been turned on in a long, long time. And I plugged it in, turned it on, and it works great. Um, well, let's just say this. I wish consoles today were as sturdy as these are. This thing has sat in a basement for years, untouched, unused. I plugged it in, it fired up the first go. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that tangent. Uh, Guys, I just want to tell you all uh, that um, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. Hope you get the things you want. And keep on believing in Santa Claus.